Ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you and welcome to the live telecast of the third ODI in this New Zealand Women to World of Sri Lanka. Beautiful day out here in Gaul and there's a series decider. One all against Sri Lanka versus New Zealand. I got the two captains with me, Chamari Athapattu, Sophie Divine and the match free, Wana Sadi Silva. Chamari, you got the coin? Heads is the call. Heads it is. Heads it is. Uh, New Zealand has won the toss. Sophie. You won the toss. Give me the reasons for it. Uh, what are you going to do and the reasons for it? Uh, we're going to have a bat first today. It's a new wicket, but it still looks really flat. So, again, hoping we can put on some big runs on the board and defend it. Yes, uh, indeed. Taking a look at the New Zealand side, the wicketkeeper batter Bernadine Bazundehut and uh, Susie Bates, uh, Amelia Kerr. The uh, Sri Lankan playing 11, uh, Chamari Atabadu, the skipper, Vishpingun Ratna. Hashida Samara Vikramani, Lakshi De Silva, Anushka Sanjeevani. Score today in this uh, all important series decider is uh, Noshi Fernando. First delivery tries to cut it away but uh, straight towards the field. Some tight bowling from the uh, two Sri Lankan bowlers, Noshi Fernando and Udeshika Prabodini. A low full toss there. Goes down the ground and that's a direct hit and that's gone. The first wicket. Brilliant piece of work. I think that was uh, Kavisha Dilhari. Is uh, trying to go for the quick single and Kavisha Dilhari hits bullseye. Brilliant throw. Look at this quick to the ball, quick release, and bullseye way short of the crease. Remember, Martinez had no doubt whatsoever. Great form, scored 40 in the first game, 100 in the second. Driven away. Will this be the first boundary? Yes, it is. Amelia Kerr straight away uh, here will be uh, great for Sri Lanka slightly short this time and uh, very well fielder also brought into the ring for Amelia Kerr they obviously realize how important her wicket is and how easily she got runs in the previous game what a sweep by her to uh, create a chance in that occasion down the track she comes and this time she gets enough bat to it you know needs support from the other end she can't do it by herself. She's uh, really drying out the runs from this end. But uh, as we speak, tossed up delivery by these ladies. I've uh, been quite impressive in the field with the uh, energy of inside airs this time. And Amelia Kerr. Brilliant bowling from Inoka Ranavira. Just as we speak. Commentators, because I believe. I think she has uh, clearly found out that the uh, best way to go forward is to not to give those easy singles. And uh, Susie Bates brings up the half century in 75 deliveries. It's quite been quite slow, steady, but I'm pretty sure when the uh, required grade needs to be uh, given a bit of tap, she will. Lose a long handle for the moment. They'll give themselves an equal shot at uh, having a result against these very strong white ferns. If the game is shortened. Well, there you are. That's another terrific delivery, but the presence of mind of these two very experienced New Zealand batters get them another single. 127 for two after 31. There you go, Ranjika. You, t you spoke too soon. There's a light drizzle, and the ground staff are approaching from both sides. Let's hope this is a passing one. Still a very strong breeze coming from that summon of the ground and towards the harbor, but it's coming down, I'll tell you, right now. So far, taking a look at uh, the New Zealand innings, uh, first wicket uh, versus the wicket keeper batter, dismissed uh, for four runs. Then Amelia Kerr came came in, played some wonderful strokes. Sri Lankan bowlers, I thought they were very disciplined. Udeshika bowled a terrific first spells. Her overall figures, two maidens. 
Good afternoon and welcome back to the uh, Gaul International Cricket Stadium. You are joining with the live telecast of the uh, Sri Lanka women versus New Zealand women third ODI. The series is all levelled at uh, one all, and uh, the game got interrupted uh, by rain. New Zealand, who won the toss, decided to bat first, and they were 127 for two. Yes, uh, Liatahu getting the proceedings against Shamari Atapatu. Can see towards the uh, third man region begins the account for Sri Lanka. Shamari Atapatu as well. Yes, uh, Tahu to wish me good Ratna. A short delivery, and that's the first wicket. Just as uh, we mentioned, Lia Tahuhu using that uh, short delivery effectively. What she's capable of, short, right at the badge, pretty late uh, for that stroke, which me trying to go probably squalic. And in the end, a tolly of a catch in the slips. Again, but this time, flicks it straight towards the uh, field. Uh, Smash it over square leg or mid wicket, but this occasion just finding the field at square leg. A second dolly of a catch in this innings. The two to soft dismissals are denting the Sri Lankan chase down the leg side. Din had to inch move. And that's sort of a start for Sri Lanka trying to win. Samari Atapatu. And she uh, connects the uh, first maximum of the Sri Lankan innings. Yes, Sophie Divine. That's a great delivery. But uh, Chamari Atapatu up to the task. Not the ideal start. Uh, chasing a big target. This time driven away by uh, Nilakshini Silva. Will this have the legs to go all the way? Yes, it will. Another big one goes all the way. Chamari Adapattu stepping on the gas to the wicket keeper. Here's Adapattu once again opens up. She's got her eye, her eye in. This time down the ground has enough legs, just enough legs to beat the fielder. Back to back sixes in the previous game. That's the best shot of the day for me. Chamari Atapattu. It's a mid wicket in, square leg in. Just cutting off that easy single. She finds a gap on the offside on this occasion. And that's her second boundary, Nilakshi De Silva. Atapattu. On the leg side, the ball will run away. Did not get uh, a lot of bat to it. <laughs> Look at that. What can you say about that? Manur in the field brilliantly. It was on the offside. He had it, he, she had enough width. But to make sure that you beat the infield and beat the deep cover field. Uh, deep cover that's in the gap that's the quicker part of the boundary yes it's going to go reach the four well it's much needed boundaries to average seven shot and it's going 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 and gone a long long way the leg side she goes again but well, when she hit, it stays hit. That's another massive hit. Rather, four on the leg. That's in the gap as well. Will it have the legs to run? You bet it does. Game. Going with the turn again. That's in the gap. That's gone for four as well. Deliveries has to be full as well. Otherwise, uh, Tapatu can get underneath it. Yeah, interesting because we haven't seen her coming down the track. Founds the boundary again. 
Penfold unable to stop that one straight down the track. This time, the outside edge. Oh, Sophie Divine. First real intent shown by Nilakshi De Silva. Century, second century it would be in this uh, series. Look at that. Immediately withdrawing from stopping that uh, bull. Another great shot from Nilakshi De Silva finds the boundary once again. That's a century. Chamari Atapatu brings up a second century in the tournament. And the eighth century after all, take a bow Atapatu. One of the best innings I think she has ever played to the country. Yeah, what a phenomenal knock that was from Atapattu. 60, her fastest 100. Just the eighth player to score. Favourites to take the series. But as we speak, another, another massive six this time. Yeah, anyone. This time, over we on. And that will uh, bounce away. And that's what she does. Sort of a top edge. And that's also dropped this time by Penfold. And the ball rolls away to the boundary line. See that it's... She has not timed that very well, but she, does, she has. That's in the gap. That's going to go for four. There's no stopping that, Gamini. Yes, this has been a record-breaking series for Sri Lanka when it comes to partnerships. This time, that's a boundary, another boundary from the vacant uh, third-man area. Sri Lanka, 14 more runs needed. Short delivery, Chamuri Atabatu hammers it away for a maximum. De Silva tries to find the boundary, that's good fielding from Penfold. De Silva back for two and that's the win for Sri Lanka. Do they know that they've crossed the line? Bit of confusion out there about the target, but the umpire hands Amelia Kerr's cap back to her. That's the end of things here at the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. Sri Lanka win by eight runs, and belatedly, the team runs onto the pitch. What a fantastic performance by the Sri Lankans, Gamini. These are very good pictures, a very memorable day for the players as well as the coaching staff for Sri Lanka cricket and all those who are witnessing today some are from far away from down that roadside some up those hills got them across the line big celebrations by the team this is their first bilateral team bilateral win against a top side here in this case Atapatu she did change the result by herself look at that uh Nothing much to explain, I believe. Chamari Azabatu standing out. 140 runs of 80 deliveries. Some of these New Zealand bowlers to um, face the same fate that they faced a, a week ago. Leah was impressive again. The solitary made no over in the innings belonged to her. Six overs. We go down in history for sure as we look at the match. I mean, New Zealand, Sophie, Sophie Devine won the toss and elected to bat first in a really good surface here at the Gaul Stadium and uh, they were cruising along nicely with uh, Susie Bates unbeaten on 63 and Divine unbeaten on 38 and at 27 for two they were Sri Lanka winning the winning the third and final ODI by eight wickets uh, according to Dr. Lewis method and uh, they take the series the first ever bilateral win against uh, New Zealand Sri Lanka women made history today as they registered a first ever bilateral series win against the White Ferns here at the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. The uh, Player of the uh, Match award goes to the Sri Lankan skipper Shamari Atapatu. She scored her fastest uh, century in her whole career and that was also her eighth century. Just the seventh batter in the history of women's cricket to score eight centuries.
the uh, player of the series of old. Also goes to Chamari Atapatu for scoring two unbeaten centuries, which led Sri Lanka to register historical wins in this series. Good luck for the uh, T20 series as well. You can collect the trophy from Manojokaria Peruma. Ladies and gentlemen, the series winners, Sri Lanka women against New Zealand women. Their first ever against uh, New Zealand women's team here at the Gaul International Cricket Stadium. A historical day in Sri Lanka women's cricket history. For the camera taking the win two games to one thanks to special two special innings from Chamuriyatapattu.